today in this video i will show you how you can upload image and show preview and here i will use a custom javascript no plugin so let's see guys this video will be more interesting and so here i will show the first of all example so here is the input type file and if i click an image then you can show its preview here so let's see how you can do it you can see this is visual studio code editor and i have a already html file and a custom.js file this is the external jsp and inside this html file already i have included a jquery link but this link is not useful this tutorial because here i will write code only in javascript and this is the link of external js page so first of all here i will write a image and source source equals to blank id and here id i will write the id name is blah you can write any name of this id and now here alter tag inside this alter tag i will write any name and the name is image and now here just i will write a break break is the break of line to use break and now here i will write a input type file and now save and if i go to the browser so you can see here this is the input type file and the image is missing because here i have write a blank image source so if you want to add any image at first so then you can write a path image path name so here i will write a image path name so i will copy this image path from here because this image is coming from online so you can write here any image path name so what you want to add at first so i will press ctrl to save and now here inside this h index page here i will paste so you can see the image at first it will be shown this image so when i will upload the image so this image will be removed from here and it will be show the preview of our uploaded images so now I will go to Visual Studio Code Editor again and here just I will write a function name and the function name is on change and the function is read URL. This is the function name. You can write here any name of this function instead of read URL. This is as per your choice. And now parenthesis and inside this parenthesis here I will write a parameter and the parameter is this. This is the keyword. So here I have used this keyword as a parameter and why this keyword because this keyword indicates only this input type file. So when I will click only this input type files then it will be changes our images and so the preview and this function is on change not on click because when I will click this input type file then the image will be changed and it will be shown our the preview of our uploaded images so it's changing image so this is on change function so now here i will copy this function and here i will write a function and paste this function name and curly braces so inside this function i have passed a parameter this keyword as a parameter so to similar that here i have to also pass a parameter so here i will write a input so you can write any name of this parameter but here you have to add this this is the keyword but here you can write any name of this parameter as per your choice and this parameter is similar to this keyword and now above the function here i will write a variable so var and the variable name is a so you can write any name of this variable and now document dot get element by id inverted comma and semicolon to separate this line and inside this id just i will copy this image id blah and now i'll paste here so that means 
the image tag I have assigned inside this a variable so now the image tag is assigned inside this a variable and now just here inside this function I will write a if condition so if parenthesis input input means this input parameters and input dot files so this files return the file property of input type file so this files keyword return the property of this input type file and so when it will be returned the property of this input type files because I have added this parameter here so when it will be returned the property of this input type file then just here I will write var reader equals to new file reader and parenthesis and semicolon to separate this line so when it will be return the property the property means it uh, this is the types of jpg etc how how much bytes of the image image size etc so then after returning this property so it will be written uh, read the properties so i have created a new object file leader file leader helps to read the property and now here i will write reader because i have assigned this file leader property inside this reader variable so reader dot read as data url so it will be read uh, the date url of our images which we want to upload so reader dot read as data url parenthesis input input means this input parameter so input dot file and the index is 0 and semicolon and now reader dot on load because it will be changed in on on load and now here I have passed the parameter parameter is e you can write any name of this parameter and sorry to forget here it will be equals to because I am writing here ECMAScript function this is the arrow function and this is this function used to ECMAScript 6 so you can write here normal function this type of function also this type of function also but here I have written a ECMAScript function arrow function and now a a means this variable so a dot source equals to so a means this image so af after reading the property and the re url so then it will be at the url inside the image image tag this image tag and this image tag I have assigned inside this a variable so a dot source equals to e dot target target means which image we want to upload so this time to specify that we use target and target dot result and now semicolon to separate this so when it will be read the date url so then it will add the url inside this a a variable a variable means this image tag 
so if I save and here also I will save this and now I will go to the browser and deface it so now if I click and choose the image and upload then you can see it's showing preview because it's adding the source image source our target images inside this guys you have understand this video and you, you have liked this video so please subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get more this type of videos